Hey everyone. So last year I had a garden tour coming and I had this empty spot in my garden and I, it was in August. So I ran out to the garden center and there wasn't much to find, but I did find a pot that was on sale. And I started thinking about something I had seen when I went to Chanticleer Garden earlier last summer, which was that they have these pots of floating flowers around. And I thought, you know what, that would be a way to fill up some space along a path for this tour. So I ended up creating this floating flower um, pot situation right off the path to the vegetable garden. And it turned out it was one of the, my favorite things that I did in the garden last year. I found it so enjoyable to create different displays in this, even if no one was around to see them other than me, it was just a nice time to sort of walk around my garden and enjoy it. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can make the same thing in your garden. So here are the things you're gonna need for this project. First, you're gonna need obviously a container. Wider is better, so you've got more surface area to arrange flowers. I used a big pot that I found, but you could certainly get creative with this and use some kind of tub, whatever you like that fits in your garden. The next thing you need is a bottle of wine. Now, I recommend a nice Cabernet, but you can go with something else. I'm kidding. The reason you need the bottle of wine is because you need the cork. So if this gives you an excuse to go drink a bottle of wine in order to have a cork, I say go for it. Next thing you're gonna need is a level. This is an important step. You wanna make sure this thing is level before you get anywhere near it with some water. And the last thing I use is, you can tell this is a well-loved bottle of pond dye. I'll put a link to this in the description what I bought. This is black, you can buy it in all different kinds of colors. Buy the smallest bottle you can find if this is all you're using it for. This will last me three lifetimes for this purpose because you need like the tiniest little drop and it is messy stuff. The main reason for the pond dye is just so that you don't see the inside of the pot and it provides a better backdrop for your for the flowers that you can put in there, but you use whatever color you like. So I've already gone through and leveled my pot in both directions, so make sure you get that right from the beginning. I have it up on stones um, because I find it's easier to level the stones and then put the pot on top of it, plus it raises it up a little, and I can always add mulch around the bottom to cover that up. Then you need to um, go in and Sometimes you might have to really jam this in, but the point is you need to plug up the hole, right? So jam that baby in there really good. Um, if you can find a pot without a hole, that's great too, but that seems unlikely. And plus this way, if I ever didn't want to do this, I can use this as a regular pot. Okay cork jammed in there. Well, if you have a bigger hole, you might have to find something at the hardware store or something else to plug it into, but this will work. Now we fill it up. So I'm gonna let it overflow here, um, not only to get the stuff that's on the surface out of here, but also to make sure that my level's pretty good, which it looks just about spot on, I would say. When you add your dye, you literally need, ugh, don't do what I did and get it all over your hands, you guys. Literally you need like the tiniest drop. Okay, so the important thing to know is that there are no rules with this. Now you'll probably find that um, lighter leaves and foliage float better than stiffer things. Like I've had 
Hosta leaves are a little difficult to float in there because they're already sort of preformed and so they don't want to stick to the water. Um, but play around with it. There are zero rules. You can do whatever you want here. So, and that's the whole point of this. Um, so here's what I've grabbed. I've got some maiden hair ferns, a bunch of chive flowers, some ladies mantle flowers, a few flowers from um, the uh, Mauricii viburnum. And I think I'm gonna actually grab one of the flowers from the climbing hydrangea that is just starting to bloom as sort of a center point piece. But now we just see how this comes together. And if I need to go get more stuff, I'll go get more stuff. So I decided I didn't love this hydrangea flower in the middle. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo here. And I got some Arabella clematis flowers. So we do a little trio of those in the center. So that arrangement will last for one, maybe two days tops. They don't last very long. And a lot of times the birds get in there and really make a mess of them overnight. Um, I will just go in there and clean out those flowers. I'll use like a little net from an aquarium and just to get out any flower bits that are sort of left floating in there. And then I stick the hose in there and I just run the water enough to overflow it from the top. Um, and that takes care of another problem, which I know you're wondering about, which is mosquitoes. So mosquitoes, of course, uh, lay eggs on top of uh, still water, which of course this is. So by overflowing that with the hose, I eliminate that problem. But you could certainly add mosquito dunks or something um, to that if that was a concern for you. To be honest with you, we've got little pockets of standing water all in the creek that's right behind this. So even if mosquitoes were laying eggs in there, Honestly, it is like a small drop in the bucket compared to everything else that could be going on here because there's a lot of little standing water bits in the creek behind me. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It is one of the projects that brought me the most joy last year. I had no expectation of that being the case, but it is for me a moment to stop, walk around the garden, enjoy the garden, really appreciate what's flowering, appreciate the foliage that's in the garden right now, and sort of just have fun with it. Um, I do it just for me because there's nobody else here but me and my husband. So I do these little arrangements for me and they bring me joy every time I walk by them. So I hope maybe you found that inspirational and it's a good way to also fill in a little spot in your garden too. And it's the easiest project you're probably ever going to find. Plus you get to drink a bottle of wine to do it. So I hope you have a great day in your garden. Take care. <music>